Hello and welcome to What Were You Thinking? My name, as you know, is Jeremy Moses. Now, recently I happened to go see two different roller derby matches. One in Cincinnati and one right here in Northern Kentucky. You have Black and Blue Grass, which is the Northern Kentucky Roller Derby. And you have Cincinnati Roller Girls, which is Cincinnati's team. Now, there's only one difference between the two. Well, there's actually two. One I'll address in a future episode of What Were You Thinking? Because it was a huge negative on my Cincinnati experience. One I'll go ahead and address right here in this video. Because it didn't really take away from the experience. And that is the venues. Cincinnati Roller Derby, Cincinnati Gardens. Cincinnati Gardens was opened in 1949, February of 1949. So it's over 61 years old. It seats over 10,000 people. It has a real honest-to-goodness scoreboard like you would find in a, any high school gym in the tri-state, bar none. And, you know, you know, real honest seats, arena-style seats. Uh, the seating is not, you know, assigned, I don't believe. Um, it's general admission, so, you know, maybe somebody at the gardens, if you see this, and this, the seating ha does happen to be assigned, let me know about it. I'd love to hear what, I'd love to hear a correction. Anyway, um, the Northern Kentucky one, you don't have assigned seating. It's in a real, honest-to-goodness roller rink. Real, live, working, skating, roller skating rink in Florence here. Two blocks from JMO Production Studios here. And it is, you know, it's a real honest rink. You can skate during the day, but they close it in the evening for the matches, obviously. So you can skate. And then... The scoreboard is a projector with a computer and a computer program. None of that really takes away from the experience all that much. Um, the only thing I could say is the Cincinnati one feels a little more big time because the Northern Kentucky one is a slight step below in terms of ranking. Uh, in the roller derby world. Whereas Cincinnati one is one of the top programs. And therefore, you know, um, they go for a championship every year. A national championship. And, you know, it's san all of it's sanctioned, of course. There are rules. Um, but, uh, you know, it's really no different. The food's no different. You know, cheap for the most part. Um, <laughs> uh, you can get pictures or autographs with the girls on both at both events afterwards. You know, It's really almost the same. Again, transportation is a huge negative in Cincinnati, which I'll talk about. And then if you want the historic venue, you don't so much have that in Northern Kentucky. But, you know, don't let it take away from your experience. If you like one over the other, that's fine. Me, I can't really pick one. I've got, I, I consider myself friends with people on both sides. So, you know, um, it's really up to you to decide what you like better. Anyway, so future episode of What Were You Thinking will address the transportation issue. And it's a really interesting issue. I hope you tune in. My name is Jim Moses. I will see you tomorrow.